Whether it's hard breakups, moving days, or just bad weeks at the office, for most of us, stress is just a part of life. But did you know that chronic stress can negatively affect your immune system, making you more vulnerable to infection and disease? Now, how exactly does stress from the mind end up affecting the immune system? If you've ever gotten sick after a stressful event, it wasn't just a coincidence. Your brain and immune system are in constant communication with one another, which means that psychological upsets can result in physical symptoms. While stress alone cannot make you catch a cold or the flu, it can affect your immune system in two ways. The first is by creating chronic inflammation that harms tissues, and the second is by suppressing the immune cells needed to fight infections. The chemical reactions triggered by stressful situations result in an onslaught of stress hormones being pumped around the body. While these hormones are useful in acute situations, their abilities to interfere with the immune system can result in inflammation, reduced white blood cell counts, and a higher susceptibility to infection and tissue damage. Prolonged exposure to chronic stress results in high levels of the stress hormone known as cortisol. Normally, cortisol is necessary to reduce inflammation in the body. This is a good thing, but only in the short term. Over long periods of time, the body's efforts to reduce inflammation end up suppressing the immune system. Chronic stress causes cortisol levels to keep rising, but over time, it becomes much less effective in managing inflammation. Immune cells become insensitive to cortisol, allowing the immune system to become dysregulated and enabling runaway inflammation. This unabated inflammation weakens the body's defenses, increasing its susceptibility to illnesses such as the cold, flu, chronic diseases, and even food allergies. Chronic stress can reduce our immune system's ability to fight off antigens, which are the harmful invaders that can make us ill. When you are stressed, that is, in fight or flight mode, the cortisol your body produces also works to prepare your body to run away from the threat it thinks you're facing. To do this, it suppresses the immune system by lowering the amounts of protein required for signaling other immune cells. This in turn results in a reduced number of immune cells known as lymphocytes. Lymphocytes work to recognize and respond to harmful invaders and kill off antigens that can cause disease. With fewer lymphocytes, the body is at an increased risk of infection and disease. Ultimately, the immune system is considerably weakened, resulting in not only more infections, but also potentially headaches, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, asthma, and even gastric ulcers. So, be sure to make time to allow yourself to wind down from stressful events. Over time, those stresses can build up, and that chronic stress can wreak havoc on your immune system and potentially make your situation a lot worse. Mm -hmm.